Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you our NFL Week 10 preview between the New York Giants and the Cincinnati Bengals. Now let's take a look at some keys to victory for both teams, starting with the Giants. If the Giants are patient in their passing attack this week versus Cincinnati, they should be able to hit some big plays vertically down the field. But Bengals secondary gets caught looking in the backfield a lot during ball games, and that leaves themselves vulnerable to the deep in route, the seam route. So the Giants have some athleticism with Victor Cruz, also Martellus Bennett, Dominic Hicks, and those guys should be able to find some success over the middle of the football field if they're patient. Now, when you look at the defensive side of the football, you look at the safety play for the Giants. I would suggest these guys stay on the hash because the Bengals like to attack vertically down the sidelines and they also run a lot of underneath routes so you got to trust that your underneath coverage can rally up and make the tackles but the safeties can stay on the hash because you're going to need that protection to guard against guys like AJ Green and Armand Benz and company so I look for the safety to stay more on the hash this week and go to that tight cover two man look as opposed to switching up their coverages versus Cincinnati. Moving over to the Bengals in this ball game, and quite honestly, I think their offense can have just as much success versus that Giants defense. Their passing attack runs a lot of three and four wide receiver sets. This week, I look for a lot more condensed sets, a lot of bunch. Why? It helps create those instant rub routes and mismatches in the passing game, and that way, A.J. Dalton can get that football out of his hands quickly. And it also frees up that opportunity that A.J. Green may not get boxed in on the sideline you can move him around the formation and it's easier to run if you're the Bengals out of bunch as opposed to traditional sets defensively it's all about getting push up front you may not get the opportunity to sack Eli Manning but you got to clog those passing lanes and get pushed that allows you the opportunity to get tip passes at the line of scrimmage that could also result in turnovers and in the secondary it's vital that you wrap up and tackle the Giants have some of the more slippery wide receivers in the league that can break a tackle and make a big gain after the catch so those corners out there and safeties are going to have to make tackles one-on-one -on -one type of tackles and that could be the key determinant in whether or not you stay on the field or get off the field on third downs Corey Webster is going to have to be a huge X factor in this ball game. I'm pretty sure the Bengals will take two to three shots deep down the football field with AJ Green, and he's going to have to win those individual matchups. For the Bengals, it's all about Andrew Hawkins being an X factor. Why? Because the Bengals, like I said before, run a lot of crossers, and he's a direct beneficiary of that. He has the speed to run away from the underneath coverage and also has the speed to run away from the secondary of the Giants. Let's look at the personnel breakdown in this ball game, and I think this is an even matchup top to bottom. The Bengals offense will look like the Steelers offense to the New York Giants. The reason why I gave Andy Dalton a check, I'm not saying that he's better or equal to Eli Manning. I'm saying he's not a detriment to his team's success. So look for a close ball game between these two teams. I like the Giants in this ball game. I think two aspects of their personnel allows them to win this game. The running game being a little bit more explosive and also their pass rush. They can collapse the pocket and they can finish plays with the defensive line. I think those are the two reasons why the Giants win this game on the road. And I also want to give a huge shout out to Giant Fan Forums and Bengal Fan Forums for always showing football game plan support.